So first, you're coming on lunch break a couple of weeks ago, and you're telling us about cars that won't let us drive if we've been drinking. Now we have cars that just won't need us to drive, period. R right. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, far out in the future, but you know what's interesting? This has gone from being you know, kind of a Disney fantasy movie sort of stuff and science fiction to being something that that is definitely within sort of the medium term and, and, and plausible both technologically and otherwise just in the last few years. So it's not preposterous anymore. Yeah, you, someday you could have a car that says, you're drunk, sit over there and take you home. Now, Joe, we're not, right now we're all looking at a car that says Google on it driving around by itself. What is, has Google gotten into this business? It sounds like they have. You know, it's, it, they've definitely gotten into the business of trying to solve the technology problem of how do you locate a car and then got, you know, get it to go where you want it to go on its own. Um, I, don't, I, I talked to uh, one of the engineers on that project yesterday. I, it's pretty clear to me Google does not want to become a car company. It's not a great business for them. Um, but it's not clear how they're going to transfer that technology to the auto industry. And the auto industry has been working on this problem on its own. Uh, a number of the major companies, uh, both the automakers and their big technology suppliers, have been on this case for a number of years. So Audi, for instance, uh, had a car that drove itself up Pikes Peak a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. So quite how that all comes together is not totally clear. There might be a little bit of competition there. Now, on the one hand, Joe, you can see this could be a huge market. I mean, there's really not a day I don't drive around and I see everybody, I see people, I see they're texting, they're, they're laughing, they're talking on the phone, they're having sex in the car. Whatever it is they're doing in the car, they're doing everything but driving. It seems like it could be a lot safer yeah. to have a car that drives you, but yet I bet consumer appetite for this, people are going to be reluctant to give up control. Well, yeah, that's right. I think there's going to be a lot of ambivalence about this. And this is why when I talk to people in the car business, the way they talk about it is they want to position this as a driver assistance and as a way to automate the sort of the mundane driving that you have to do. If you're stuck in traffic on the uh, Long Island Expressway in New York or in the 405 in L.A., you know, you can set your car and it will automatically keep itself in a lane and, and stop and go and stop and go on its own while you're doing something else. Uh, but the car makers do not want to take away the romance of the road because if every car is just a pod, you're not going to spend $70,000 right. on some high performance sedan, are you? No. Right, no, it's a good point. I mean, what are some of the other things you think we need to know, Joe, about the self driving cars uh, in terms of what kind of impact they can make in the industry? Well, a couple of things. First, I, I think that the, the car makers want to try to bring this into the market in a step-by-step -step way, building on the technology that they already have, like the, the adaptive cruise control that can automatically uh, keep speed with the traffic around you. The second thing, though, and this is a big deal everyone mentioned to me, is that before we get to a fully autonomous car, a lot of work is going to have to be done on who's liable if it fails. Is it the manufacturer? Is it you, the driver who's not driving? Big problems there, not resolved, according to legal experts I talked to. And then finally, for some people, there may be privacy concerns because to the extent that, uh, say, a Google system or a, an automaker system knows where you are, what you're doing in order to locate you on the road, there's some people who may not like that. It, it, there's, a, there's a lot of social issues that I think might take more trouble and time to solve than some of the actual technology problems that are, that are still out there. 